It has been more than 10 years since the murder of Betsy Faria. Her husband, Russ, was wrongly convicted, but later found not guilty in a retrial. In that time, Pam Hupp killed again and was just convicted last summer for Betsy Faria's murder. Well, tonight there is a series called The Thing About Pam. It will air starring Renee Zellweger. I sat down with Russ and his attorney, Joel Schwartz, ahead of its debut. When we first started this, neither Joel or I thought we would be here today or that it would go on for as long as it has. It's just such a fascinating story and it's a bit of a cautionary tale. The story is one St. Louis became familiar with. The murder of Betsy Faria in 2011 in Troy, Missouri. Her husband, Russ, spent three years behind bars before his murder conviction was overturned in 2015. Hupp, feeling the heat, lured Louis Gumpenberger to her home in O'Fallon, Missouri, where she killed him, telling police he was an intruder sent by Russ Faria. Authorities quickly caught on to that lie, and Hupp was arrested and charged. Pam's the kind of person that you can put in the same conversation as Charles Manson, Jeffrey Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy. I mean, there's a long list of serial killers, and, and I believe she's one of them. The motive in Betsy Faria's death was her life insurance. Hupp had convinced Betsy to transfer the $150,000 policy to her name. The policy that we're speaking of was in Russ's name for over 10 years. That's almost 4,000 days. It was in Pam's name for four, and Betsy died. Russ Faria and his attorney, Joel Schwartz, have had their story told time and time again for numerous Dateline episodes, a podcast, crime dramas, and tonight, you'll see it told again by Academy Award-winning actress Renee Zellweger. Both will be seeing it for the first time. They're playing you. This is your story. Uh, it's a little surreal, I guess, and sometimes a little overwhelming. You put your trust in these people is what it amounts to. You hope you're portrayed in some sort of favorable light. Are you okay with all of this? Oh, there are a lot of things that are hard. You know, you have good days and bad days. You lose somebody, you know. Um, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Faria uses his unexpected fame to raise awareness for wrongful convictions with the Innocence Project and shed light on the issues surrounding prosecutorial immunity. Schwartz has since written a book called Bone Deep. Pam's MO is going after old, sick, or disabled people. I think that Pam Hupp chapter will come to a close whether or not she gets the death penalty. I don't know that the story will necessarily die because I think people are going to want to attempt to figure out what we haven't been able to is what went through her mind. Meantime, the investigation into the death of Pam's mother, Shirley Newman, is still open. She was found beneath the balcony of her senior living facility in Fenton in 2013. Russ tells me there is one positive that came from knowing Pam. He's now engaged to this woman here that Pam first tried to pick up as a victim before finding Louis Gumpenberger. Tonight on Five on Your Side, you will hear from the former prosecutor who still believes that Russ is guilty. Our Christine Byers has an exclusive interview with prosecutor Leah Cheney.